So there was a, a question from um, Councillor Barker, which I'll get the Chief Executive to answer. Was that good? Is that around the Code of Conduct? Code of Conduct and the press reasons for public exclusion, correct? Yes, the Code of Conduct makes reference to uh, uh, um, public excluded for legal reasons. Mm. <clears throat> and uh, um, I want to be assured that when the, the Chief Executive has looked at this and uh, makes a recommendation that it be for public excluded, that they are for this public exclusion is for only legal reasons. Uh, it seems to me that. Uh, we're talking here more yeah, about commercial yeah, okay, confidentiality. Yep, yep, we get it. Yep. That's fine. The, the, the code of conduct um, sort of talks that matters. The presumption of council business is that matters are considered to be open and to be in the public domain, unless there are compelling legal reasons otherwise. So that's the the phrase that's used in the code of conduct. Those compelling legal reasons are set out under Lagoima the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act, and those are always when you look at how. Uh, there's always a paper in open that sets out the reasons why a, um, a, a justification for an item being considered in public exclusion. There is always a reference back to a particular se a section, um, whatever that relevant section is, of, of Lagoima. So you're right, Councillor, the Code of Conduct refers to those compelling legal reasons. Those are actually then set out under the legislation. So let's get to the uh, resolution then. Um, no, that's answered the question. So let's get to the resolution. I just, someone's happy to move, but we need to include uh, Mr. Newman and Duncan Southwell. Duncan, Duncan Southwell. Yeah, not Duncan. No, not Duncan. You've sent him back out into the field, have you, Andrew? Good on you. Okay, so just Duncan Southwell and Andrew Newman to be added to that. So someone happy to move? You happy to move, Councillor Dick? Second to Councillor Scott? I'll put that motion then. Hi, oh, you wish to speak? You, you, you wish to speak as mover? I reserve. You reserve. Uh, Councillor Belford. Uh, I'm not sure how to go about this because I guess at the root of my contention is that what we're about to discuss is publicly mooted in the, and has been out on the table for two plus years now as a uh, uh, as an aspect of the capital structure of this project uh, it's been out there in full view it's been given a a pricing uh, it's been put into a waterfall of payments uh, et cetera et cetera and so uh, I'm not I don't know what the difference is between this uh, and what is already on the table that would warrant uh, further discussion of this as an element of the of the capital structure being warranting uh, a, a public excluded discussion. Uh, institutional investors are well aware of this <coughs> as, as a potential aspect of the matter, so there shouldn't be any surprise to anybody that uh, we're having other kind of conversations with uh, so, what is it that justifies it being in public excluded? Mr. Tim. So, you, I wouldn't normally grant a question, but I think if you do have a response to that, it might help us all if we heard it. So. Mr. Tim, the, the issue is that HBRIC is in confidentiality agreements with various parties in terms of the, in terms of the financing <coughs> package. What we're talking about here is a, is a, a potential change in, in uh, the, that, financial, that financial package. And we are under confidentiality agreements with the with um, those people, we we want to discuss something here that we haven't taken to the institutional investors in terms of a change in the model, and I can't disclose. We can't do it in open public. So, unfortunately, um, from where I sit, um, it's either we we either share this information with council and we want to share the information with council, or we can't. That, Other speakers. Um, <coughs> so we're in debate. Um, yeah, so you, um, you're about going to secret committee. Um, as you know, I, I usually always oppose this, and I did on this case too, but um, I'm going to relent on this occasion, and the reason I am is um, I don't, I've read this thing several times, and I don't fully understand it, and I need to understand it. It's very 
complex. Um, there's some upside. Um, I want to understand the downside. So um, I do want the opportunity to discuss it with these gentlemen here, um, just us. Um, not because I think it, um, the community shouldn't know about it. They certainly should if we agree to it. But um, I need to fully understand it a lot better than I do. So I'm going to agree to go under. Other speakers? Wish to speak. <coughs> I'm uh, basically in the same camp as Rex on this. I think openness and transparency is the key to this. Uh, I would normally hotly oppose this. I reflected on the paper and I reflect on the situation that uh, has been put to us. I think I understand their point of view. I would be, uh, uh, I would be, feel happier about voting for this if we went into committee, <coughs> publicly excluded, with a clear understanding that at the end of it we're going to have a clear statement to the public about what the outcome was. Uh, not necessarily in the detail, but I do think there is a. Uh, on the paper, it looks like there's a significant decision here which could have an impact on ratepayers and I wouldn't want to do that without uh, them uh, knowing what the implications were. I think we've said enough. Councillor Dick, you wish to sum up? <coughs> well, I think it's all been said except I don't agree with the public statement being made immediately after this meeting. It could be a public statement, statement made when uh, directors of HBRAC um, believe it's appropriate, but uh, we entrust them with the very serious task of negotiating with um, potential investors and uh, we should not um, be impeding or uh, putting obstacles in their way to do that successfully. I mean, sorry, sorry, am I allowed to speak? I was going to raise the same issue because before you put the motion, it would be inappropriate for a public comment to be made about this until HBRIC has had an opportunity through the BNZ and our advisors to talk to the other the other investors. And I'm sure I'm sure the, the discussion will be in due course. Okay, let's put the motion. All those in favour, please say aye. aye. Contrary no. Carried. Thank you.